ever hear the term too much information, this video is a prime example of providing that. Anyway, I'll show you the all the struggles I had generating our family heritages. And uh, I'll start off by uh, showing you the biggest issue I had and the most time consuming issue I faced. And that was fixing all of the location information in my Gramps database. And I got Gramps open right now and this software is absolutely magic when it comes to data manipulation. But before I could teach my computer to read anything, I had to fix the location information in the Moreland database. And I'll just jump straight here to places, and I'll show you what I mean. In order for me to get this to work, I had to put all of my location information in terms of city or township, like Vincennes, county, Knox County, state, and then the country. Now the fun I have with the Mormon database, you never knew what country was gonna be. You never knew where state was gonna be or any of this information. Sometimes they had their countries listed in the first position and their cities in the last position. So this took a, a few months to straighten out, but this is how it works. And if there is no city, all we do is have a blank there with a comma. And then if there's no county, we have a, let me just see if I can find one up here real quick. Okay. And if we have nothing but the country, we have to have a comma, space, comma, space, comma, and then the country at the last. And if we have a state, it looks like this. Like in Germany, the country's there, and we have the state there, and so on and so on. That's how the locations had to be fixed. And I had to have all of the other problem with the Mormon database. Sometimes they call Germany by its German name. So it was really fun to get this straightened out. And I don't guarantee it to be 100% accurate, but I did the best I could. And that's what you always do with data manipulation. You, you just do the best you can. So once you get that done, I'll jump back up here to charts. It's, I'm going to start with Genie because this is the information I want to extract and make a chart for. So what I do is come up to reports, text reports, and detailed ancestor report. And notice I have Gene Allison right here as my output name. And then I'll leave the rest of it the same. And I carried out at least 50 generations. I want to make sure I get everybody, all the ancestors that Jeannie has in this database. And since it's already done, I'm going to click cancel here. And that's all I have to do in Gramps. Once you export the Gramps detailed ancestor report, it generates a report that looks just like this. I've got it opened up here. And you can see how well organized it is. Now, the, the problem I had uh, is the first generation is in this format, it shows the ancestor here as Gene Ann with a period, and then we got born here as the next place I have to search, and then it's got the birth date, and then it's got N, and I go there and I have to look for N and find Washington, Davis County, Indiana, USA, stop at the period come over here to died and search where she died and it says she's living so it's not the data is not available and it's got who she married which was me and I go through this record and I search for the next one which is me and I search for him and put his information in extracting the information exactly the same way 
Then the rest of the operation relatively simple. They're all sort of the same. So we got the second generation, and we have Burke. We pick him up, stop at the period. We skip all this crap here. Come over here to Bourne. Search for that, and he was born in. Pick out that information. He was born in. Pick out this information. And remember I was telling you how important the format of the locations document is. Because I got Veal Township, Davis County, Indiana, USA. And we stop here at the period. Extract that information. Then we extract the died. We search for the died. And pick out his death date. Where did he die? We search for this in. In Jasper Dupuis County, Indiana. And again, how important it is to have these formatted. No, I've been spoiled do boys. Too bad. <laughs> and come over here. And it shows when he's buried. And he's buried in Davis County, Indiana. And that's in the information we're searching for. So all I had to do is teach my computer to read this file and put it in a spreadsheet. And I won't bore you with all the gory details it took to do that. But that's what I did. And I taught my computer to read this file and build the spreadsheet. And from there, we can generate charts and everything else. Now I come over to my spreadsheet. And this is what I've got. I've got a main page. And I want to process the information for Jean Allison. I just click on her. And I process individual data. And so here has Jean Allison been married. And I won't bore you the details why I had to put that in, but yes, she has been married. And it grinds away here. And notice all the countries, all the death dates, birth dates, and all this stuff are included here. And it grinds away. Because what the program is doing now is extracting all of the unique countries and putting them across and putting them across up here like that. So what the program had to do is go through all of these countries. And we've got a few. I can't move the screen right now with this prompt. And just pick out the unique ones and put them across here. Now what this is for is to make the chart. So I just click current selection. And I want to make a bar chart. And I click finish. And lo and behold, we have a chart. Now, we have to really pretty this up with another piece of software I won't bore you with. But uh, this is how it's done. And that's all there is to, to manipulating this data. Now, sir, I'm sure you're going to ask, can you do it for my family? We go back to the beginning of this video on cleaning up the locations document and your... Uh, database, whatever you use for your genealogy software package. And before I do anything for you, you would have to fix those locations yourself because that's just an overwhelming task for an old man like me to do again as a one-time deal and I'm done with it. But if you get the locations fixed and you send me your GED file, I can generate you charts just as fast as you watch me do it for Genie. And that's all there is to it.